This video will outline the basic steps to measure the viscosity of asphalt binders using the rotational coaxial cylinder viscometer according to procedures outlined by AGTO TP48-97. Turn on the temperature control unit and set it to the test temperature. A typical test temperature is 135 degrees Celsius. Place the sample chamber into a holder. Preheat the sample chamber in its holder, the binder and spindle in the oven, which is set to the test temperature. When the binder is fluid, remove the heated chamber and holder from the oven and put it on a scale accurate to the nearest 0.1 gram. Tear the scale. The two spindles typically used are number 27 and number 21. Remove the binder can from the oven and stir thoroughly to remove entrapped air. Pinch the can to form a V-notch to facilitate the easy pouring of the binder. Slowly pour the asphalt into the mold until the scale shows between 9.5 and 10.2 grams of asphalt. Turn on the power to the rotational viscometer. Follow instructions shown on the digital display. Remove spindle if necessary and press any key. The viscometer will auto zero. Place the heated sample chamber with asphalt into the thermocell unit. Rotate the sample chamber until it seats. Attach the heated spindle to the viscometer using the necessary coupling. Gently lower the spindle into the sample chamber containing the hot sample until the asphalt covers the upper conical portion of the spindle. Place the insulating cap over the opening of the container. The asphalt temperature should reach test temperature in approximately 30 minutes. The asphalt should stay at this temperature for at least 10 minutes. Set the speed to 20 RPM and turn on the viscometer motor. Let the viscometer reading stabilize and then note the viscosity CP, shear stress SS, shear rate SR, and torque every minute for three minutes and take the average values.